have just uh, pulled up to, what have we pulled up to? Ours is untold. What kind of trouble are we getting into? No. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, real live footage of the theater. Let's see if I can zoom in. One night only, Origins on Untold. Oh, dude, is that just Jack? Oh, no, no way, way, dude. It's just oh, it's just Jack. Good looking couple. This, this feels uh, pretty legit. Uh, you know, real people here. Uh, that's the Founded Earth Brothers guy.
gentlemen, why don't we put our hands together again for the water kickers? I hope you guys are all doing well. We are so excited for the premiere tonight. And before we get things going, I would love to introduce uh, Josh Key from the Founded Earth Brothers. He's going to be giving a presentation. Let's put our hands together. You got the tickets, man? Yeah, yeah. We're oh, good, okay. Yeah, All right, awesome. Um, so there it is. There's a man-made bubble surrounding the earth. You can all sleep safely. It's man-made. It's protecting us. Okay. It is not the firmament. Don't look into that. Okay. But this structure is why you see world powers agreeing on something for the first time ever. All world powers out of the history of the world. They finally said, you know what, we got to agree on one thing. Why don't we just agree on guarding the 60th South Parallel so no exploration can go beyond that privately. My name's uh, Taylor Rice from Asheville, North Carolina, and uh, I'm just interested, the, um, the photography aspect was really, really interesting to me, and I was wondering, how far should you be able to see with the uh, mathematical curvature that is uh, mainstream science? I guess I'll take that. The, the formula is not complicated at all. The, the way to look at it is eight inches per mile squared, so the first mile is an eight inch drop, and in two miles, it's uh, two times two is four times eight is six feet is, you know, times four is 32 inches. And at three miles, there's six feet. So there's a curvature calculator in the app, by the way. If you go to the web button and go to the curvature calculator, you put your eye height and the distance you're seeing. And um, we can see way farther than that with our naked eyes, let alone unaided, you know, by camera, zoom lenses and stuff. So a six foot tall person on a perfectly clear day with perfectly calm water should not be able to see the surface of the water beyond three miles. That means your horizon is only three miles away. And if you sit down, it's even closer. Now think about if you've ever been to the West Coast, watch the sunset over the ocean, you would be seeing that sun intersecting three miles or less away from you. If there's waves, it's even closer. But when you look, you see that sun intersecting with the apparent 
horizon, I call it the horizontal eye zone, um, miles and miles and miles beyond that. So there's your answer. All right, thank you. Does anyone else have a question? Yes. Hi, I'm Jamie. I actually have a question for Otto. Um, where do you stand now? You have to tune in to the sequel for that. <laughs> That's, that's the big, you know. So um, when I first began this journey, um, Sarah and David had reached out and they were gonna do uh, kind of like a promotional short uh, so they can get the funding for this. And I turned it down because in the beginning I was like, really, no, people don't believe this, no. And so I kind of moved away from it and then they called me back and said, hey, listen, we're going to go through with this. Do you want to really, you know, think about it? And, and I started diving into all this. And when I first began, I was a total skeptic. I was like, no, I, I almost didn't want to believe it because, uh, like I said in the film, how often do you wake up and question whether the earth is round? So I was like, no, this can't be true. But as I started going through the process, I will say that went from, a total disbeliever to I I'm completely open to everything I learned and there's a few things about the firmament that I'm, I'm still wrapping my head about but I'm completely open to believing everything that's on this documentary so I'm if I'm, I'm kind of almost a believer <laughs> what's your best reason you think the earth is a globe <laughs> no comment no, no I comment. am not going into it All right, why don't we all just stand and put our hands together for this amazing cast and the film that was shot so beautifully and so much opportunity. You know, they all want to thank you all for coming out and supporting the film. Uh, tonight's premiere was an absolute success. Good night.